You want your car to be at the right temperature when you drive. But sometimes, a part called the blower motor resistor can go bad and make your ride uncomfortable. This guide will help you understand what the blower motor resistor does and where it is. It will also tell you how to check if it is working and how much it might cost to fix it. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Airflow settings not working. The blower motor resistor may be the source of problems if you try to adjust the airflow settings and some of them don't work. When attempting to change the settings, you will encounter these issues when the internal components malfunction or a short happens. For instance, you might be unable to use the higher fan speed settings but be able to use the lower ones. However, other issues, like a broken blower motor switch, can result in the same issue. Therefore, a correct diagnosis is required before any parts are replaced. Blower motor only works on one speed. The majority of modern heaters and air conditioners have adjustable fan speeds. The fan setting ought to be simple for you to select. However, the blower motor becoming stuck on one setting is one of the most typical signs of a faulty blower motor resistor. The resistor might be the issue if you are unable to remove the motor from a high or low setting. The blower motor resistor is in charge of regulating the speed at which the fan runs on the blower motor. As a result, the motor may become stuck when it fails or shorts. Although you won't be able to change the speed, you might still be able to get the heat or air you need. Intermittent or inconsistent fan speed. We've already talked about how you might only be able to get one speed or setting to work, but there's also a chance that the system will occasionally break down. As a result, you might experience high air pressure for a minute before it stops. These irregular problems point to a problem with the blower motor resistor or another electrical issue. No air coming from vents. When the air stops blowing out of the vents, that is one of the worst scenarios. This issue could arise whenever there is a bad blower motor resistor. Any short or malfunction can cut off power because the resistor is the conduit through which power is delivered to the blower motor. In severe weather, you'll be uncomfortable hot or cold without air pressure coming from the vents. Although you can roll the windows down, doing so isn't always practical, especially if it's raining outside. It's crucial to remember that this issue needs to be diagnosed by a professional. The blower motor itself could have failed. To ensure that the issue doesn't persist, make sure you are replacing the appropriate component. How do you test a blower motor resistor? It's time to concentrate on the blower motor resistor if you've given the heating and cooling system a quick inspection and can't find anything wrong with it. Even though a bad resistor will typically cause the fan to fail at specific speeds, it's still crucial to make a diagnosis before replacing any parts. You don't want to just throw parts at the issue unless you know what's causing it. You might end up spending money on unnecessary parts. Please remember that bypassing the blower resistor is not safe. It might lead you to ignite a car fire. Instead, adhere to the instructions in this guide or your service manual. Visually inspect the blower motor resistor. You're searching for corrosion or burning signs. Replace the resistor and the damaged connectors if you notice either of these symptoms. However, if the wires are not correctly spliced, you will encounter the same issues. Utilize your multimeter to check the resistor's resistance. You should connect one probe to the common output terminal and the other to the input terminal so that it can read ohms. Refer to the schematic in your service manual when comparing your readings. If there is any indication of infinite resistance, there is an open circuit and the resistor needs to be replaced. The fan may also need to be replaced if it is spinning too slowly or vigorously. Also, only use caution when handling the blower resistor. The auto part can generate heat because electrical currents are flowing through it. Your fingers could get burned by the heat. Replacement cost. A blower motor resistor replacement typically costs between $90 and $175. If you can't do the replacement yourself, budget $40 to $100 for the part and another $50 to $75 for labor. You should keep in mind, though, that a bad fan motor is typically to blame for a bad blower motor resistor. Therefore, for a long-lasting fix, you should typically replace both the motor and the resistor. This will likely be one of the cheapest automotive air conditioning repairs if the resistor is all that is required. However, it's possible that additional components will need to be replaced concurrently, raising your overall costs. For instance, the price could increase by $500 if a new motor needs to be installed. The resistor can be easily replaced, which is good news. You can do it yourself if you have some common mechanics tools and fundamental mechanical knowledge. If you have a service manual to follow, give yourself an hour or two to finish the task. Hope the information was helpful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.